Hello and welcome to another Edexcel IGCSE Computer Science past paper question. This time we're looking at the last question in this series on paper two. It is question five. Now I'm linking to above. I'm linking to an introduction to this paper, a little bit about a bit about what it is, how it works. So to find out a bit more about that, click on the link. But we will go straight in to look at question five now. So question five then. Question five is the last question in this paper and it's worth the most amount of marks. It's 20 marks, but you're not given any clue as to how the program should be written. So you're given a large section on the next page for your designs and you need to be doing. I'm going to talk about in a minute why you should be doing designs and how that needs to load. So the question says, Rhea is a school librarian. She wants a program to analyze pupil use of the library. She wants to encourage reading by awarding gold, silver, and bronze medals to the three pupils who have read the most books. Test data has been included in the code. Open Q05. So this is what you're given. This is Q05, and we can see the test data there. We can see a very large array, several elements in it. Um, it's called library record, and when we look at it, we can see the different elements here each part of the array. So we've got a number there, reference number, we've got a name, and we've got a number here, all separated with commas, comma separated values, and the number here is the number of books that the pupil has read. So we're gonna be looking through that, and I'm gonna be finding people who's read the most books to get gold, second place to get silver, and third place to get bronze. And we're gonna also try to find from this the pupils who have read less than 10 books. So we can see here, this pupil here has read five books, so he's, that pupil there is going to be in our list, the pupils that have read less than 10 books, okay? We can also see here that looking at this, looking at this data that I've been given, I can see that this student here has read 94 books, so that's probably going to be the gold, okay? And then I could probably see silver there with 74, and then I've got students who've read 68 books there, so they may be bronze, okay? So, your program should function correctly. It should print out the average number of people's books have read, IDs of pupils who've read fewer than 10 books, details of the gold, silver and bronze medal winners. So here is the finished program. So you can see what it looks like there. Total number of books read by pupils, average number of books read by pupils, gold medal winner, silver medal winner, and bronze medal winner there and that's what the program should do so if we go to the next page we can see some space for planning and design work and that's what we're going to look at now so i would recommend for your design that you use pseudocode um, i wouldn't recommend that you go in and start drawing a flow chart that's going to take too long although you've got three hours i do some pseudocode and i've linked in the description to a very nice image that shows you all the Edexcel pseudocode conventions. Why design? You're given space for a reason, so use it. Edexcel have given you that design space, so use that design space. You've got three hours for this paper, so use the time. Use the whole time. Don't try and finish early. Use the whole of the three hours. Think about building a house on weak foundations. No matter how strong you make the walls, no matter how much time you spend on that, if you've got poor foundations or no foundations, it's never going to be as good as if you spent the time to design it properly, to put in the foundations. So the message is plan your program. What were they thinking here? If only they spent a bit more time thinking this through and planning it a bit better, then we wouldn't have a door. That doesn't align up with the stairs. What on earth were they doing? I like things, pictures like this, it's kind of fail pictures to make me feel a little bit better about my own kind of building skills whenever I've had to do DIY. So question five, what am I asked to do? Now I've, I've taken the paper and I've written in red text, some kind of response to that, some my, my thoughts. And it might be worth you taking the time to do that yourself in the exam.
just write on the paper in pencil some of the thoughts some of the ideas about what's going to have to happen in the program so point one add up the total number of books read so i need some kind of calculation to add up each total okay i'm going to have to add them up i'm going to have to use the calculation to do that average number of books read what is an average that is a total divided by how many pupils there are okay there's a simple division there that i can do with that the ids of pupils who've read fewer than 10 books i need to record this using this if statement so if total is less than 10 and then i've got to display the gold silver and bronze winners the highest total is gold silver is second place and bronze in third place so it's a program iterates through each record in the array the gold silver and bronze records will be recorded now that will be that this is the highest number that i find so when i find the highest number then gold the current gold will then become the silver and the silver become the bronze and the bronze pushed pushed out okay and, and it will go through that it will do the same with the silver and the bronze when it finds the highest silver that will be the number that's recorded when it finds the highest bronze that will be the number that's recorded okay but that one needs to be set to zero at the start of the program till i find my first record so we're going to look at some pseudocode now and again just to remind you i've linked in the description to a very good image that kind of that kind of shows you the conventions of edxl pseudocode so what do i need to do first i need to initialize the variables i need so the variables are going to be total gold silver bronze I need to record okay I need to record the total number I need to record what the gold is so the number of books which is gold silver and bronze and I'm going to set them all to zero at the start I need the gold ID I need the silver ID and I need the bronze ID because I need that information later on I need to print out that I need the name of the person who's got the gold who's got the silver and who's got the bronze okay and in order to get that i need that id because there could be two people in my records with the same name it's possible that in a school two people or more have the same name so i need the id to make it really clear which one that is then i need to go through each record in turn in the library record so i'm going to use this for for loop for row in range length of the library record do and i've written library record how it's spelt with a capital r in there for each row in the whole of library record do the following books equals library record row three so that means not row three that means element three if you remember from looking at the program so we've got zero element zero element one comma element two comma element three so i need that i need element three so square brackets three that is how many books they've read so if books is greater than gold so if the current record i'm looking at is greater than the gold so we'll just look at this so say i've started there record one marcus smith 25 books that marcus smith has read so that element three there that is currently gold okay because that is greater than zero so that is now my goal okay so i've been going through the records then i come across this record here denise built on 58 books so then marcus smith would then become silver and matt white would be on 12 books would mean my bronze okay then i go down i look at malcolm kelly there so then Malcolm Kelly would then be the silver and Marcus Smith would go from being silver to being bronze okay and then the next record then this person here 29 books 
would then be my silver. And then when I get to this person here, this person, 94 books, would then be my gold. And this person here would be my silver. And this person here would be my bronze. So this, what this is doing here is it's recording the ID of the gold, bronze, silver, and gold, which is what I need to print out later on. So let's move on. Total I need. Total equals total plus book. So I'm adding up that total. So as, as I record books, I'm adding them together so that I can print out later on. I can output the total number of books read by this, this whole class or school, whatever it is. I then need to output these results. I've got the results recorded, but I need to output them. So if books is less than 10, send the ID of pupils who've read less than 10 books to display. Send library record zero. Remember zero is the ID number. I need to send that to display. So again, what does send to display mean? It means print out. It's what would be print in Python. Look at the poster that I've linked to in the description to help you with that. Send total number of books read by pupils total to display. So send the total to display. Send the average number of books read to pupils. So what is the average? It is the total divided by the length of the library record. That is really important. Remember the program has got, what it's got to do is it's got to be ad, able to be added to. You can add as many records as you want. Okay. If I counted the number of records and I put total divided by 15, for example, um, if I then added more records to it, unless I updated that 15, it, it wouldn't work. It would be incorrect. So that has got to be the length of the library record to display. And then send gold medal winner is gold ID to display. Silver medal winner is and bronze medal winner is to display. And here is my pseudocode in its totality. That is the complete pseudocode and that is ready to go. It's ready to go into Python. So I spent some time designing my code. Now I am ready to program. And this is the finished code. This is the finished program in its totality there. Okay. So now I'm going to go through that and how I put that together. So first thing was I initialized the variables. And if we look at that, it looks exactly the same as my pseudocode. Okay. If you write the pseudocode properly, it should be fairly easy to take that pseudocode and go straight into Python with it. So I've initialized my variables there, total gold, silver, bronze, gold ID, silver ID, and bronze ID. I've set them all to zero right at the start. Now, slightly more complicated. I need to iterate through each record and my pseudocode is almost the same here for row in range, length, len. So len is the Python function. Looking at the len of the length of the array, library record, make sure you spell it correctly. And in Python, we don't have a do, we have a colon. So books equals integer library record, square brackets, row, the row to look at, and square brackets three means element three of that array, which is the num where the number of books actually is. If books is greater than gold, Okay, notice the brackets there and the colon. Bronze equals silver, silver equals gold, gold equals books, gold ID equals row. Okay, so that is then assigning gold to be the current and then silver, the current gold then becomes silver and the current silver becomes bronze and bronze gets pushed out. And the same, look at the E lift there. So we don't have else, we have elif in our if statement in Python. Elif, books is greater than silver. Bronze equals silver, silver equals books, and silver ID equals row. Elif, books is greater than bronze. 
bronze ID, bronze equals books, bronze ID equals row. And then to finish with, total equals total plus books. So now I need to print off those results. Okay. And this was my pseudocode here. And this is my Python code. So print total number of books read by pupils. It's total, which is the value to print off. Print average number of books by, read by pupils. Notice the commas there and the brackets. Total divided by length of library record. Okay. So square bracket zero there, because it's counting how many IDs there are. It needs to count some things. So it's counting up how many records there are. It's doing that by counting the number of IDs, which is element zero. Notice that I've, I've opened a bracket there. I've closed a bracket. I've opened a bracket. I've closed a bracket. And then print of gold medal winner is library record gold ID. Okay. So it's printing off the, the not the ID. Notice the square brackets one is printing off their first name. I notice square brackets two, library record gold ID, square brackets two is printing off their surname. And notice that there is a quotation mark there and a space that puts a space between the first name and the surname. Okay, so it's looking at this matching the gold ID record of the person that's read the most books and printing off their first name and their surname. It's doing the same with silver ID and bronze ID. So there is the finished code and I'll show you it now in Python. So here's my finished program and see write your code below this line. I've, I've written my code there. Okay. So now if I run that run module, it, as I showed you at the start of the video, it shows me the output there. And if I wanted to, I could probably, I'm probably not, I'm going to trust that the total is okay. I don't want to, I don't want to add that up, but I probably have a look through myself just to check. Um, is that person that, is that person the one with the most books? I think so on 94. So my program is finished there and that is my output. So as I said, just to wrap this video up, big thanks for watching. Remember, design first before you program, okay, with these types of questions. With the earlier questions in this paper, you're already given the designs. With these, you do need to spend some time on the design. Check the links in the description for the paper, everything. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.